pretty sure I have a video on it. Alrighty guys, so, you're probably wondering what's this video about. So, you guys can't really see, we're gonna make the quick adjustment, actually we're just gonna do this, so, we're gonna turn this whole pile of parts, so I'll kinda go over it, so we got a screw kit, right, for the Regal, we got a frame, we got A-arms, body posts, dual serving links, two differentials, the tie rod ends, both bulkheads front and back, air filter, spur gear and brake assembly, clutch bell on assembly, new transmission, wheel hubs, the Think 17 mil wheel hubs, the center line drive shaft, we got the rocker arm kit, we got the bumpers, we're gonna turn all this fun stuff and pretty much whoa, almost broke the camera. One of these guys. Um, these ones are pretty much fully built. You're just waiting on wheel shafts. So, unfortunately, I didn't realize I only had one transmission. And as you guys can tell in the other video, I got sent a different transmission. You're probably going to hear some voices in the background. And you're probably going to be like, what are you listening to? Well, that is the Bug 404's channel. And he's doing a debunk about fuel. And I agree with it. You should not keep your fuel in this fucking weather. Um, just gonna try to get this in a better angle for you guys. So maybe if we do this higher. Oh, 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 like the camera. There we go. We also got to keep an update because it's Monday Night Retro, so we're going to be tuning into Hybrid's video as well. First things first, I'm going to get rid of some things that I know we're not going to need right away. We're going to keep the things that we need right away. Um, definitely going to need the screw kit. I like to keep these guys unopened for you guys, so a lot of you guys are not missing anything. Um, this fun stuff, honestly, I'm going to put it aside because that works the next stuff. Bang. So, we got all of our screws for all this fun stuff. Now, I have these things, and I'm going to put these are full with. Random shit. Um, a few things we're just gonna toss in here right away, like these clips. Sometimes, usually, these are always overstuffed. Um, that one's for the motor. We're gonna take apart these. We're gonna grab all these fun clips out of here. That's for the bulkhead spacers. I think we're missing one, but it's okay, I have many extras. One thing I did notice is the transmission screw, so we're going to take this, put this guy on here, got to find the other one. Sometimes this is a bit of a puzzle for my eyes, sometimes I miss them. Not a good start to the video, guys. Ho, ho, ho. Methanol, as we know, which makes up the bulk of your RC fuel, absorbs water. So does nitromethane. We are missing and if you put your fuel in the one screw for the transmission. Of course. That's how it always goes, guys, right? So um, freezer. You're gonna get condensation on the inside of the jug. Even what did I do with that other one here? Now I've built so many of these where I just know what they look like, so bear with me, guys. Definitely need that. There we go. Bam. Now I just gotta remember that I took this out of this kit. 
as we build it. But again, I have so many, so I just don't have too much. Alright, I guess what we should do, since we did get that, is we'll take apart the brake pads. Just makes sense, guys, since we're ready to get the stage. We'll actually just work on the transmission right now. Bang. So, you guys are going to notice that there's going to be a little weird piece to the brake pad, so... Frick, you guys are going to see me use these screws so many times because it always blends in. But, you just got to make sure that when we set these guys on, that the actuator kind of sits on the back of this one. Um, you're going to put that guy on there. You're going to put this guy right on here. Gonna line up all these screws. So that's something you really don't want to do. And like I said, you can end up ruining your fuel. You can't freeze this. It will not freeze. But like I said, if you do get it cold enough, it will. Now I like to start these off by hand. Separate out. You'll get water contamination. You're gonna ruin your fuel. And at 50 bucks a gallon, you really don't want to do that. Uh, so like I said, there's a lot of <clears throat> a lot of BS out there. And, and I have tried it over the years. I mean, it keeps getting brought up more and more frequently in the RC groups recently, but I have tried freezing RC fuel. Like Alright, so we're going to want to take this guy machine. down. It actually ruined a bottle. Well, I used a bottle of Traxxas top fuel, so it wasn't a big loss. But uh, it didn't make it run any better. It didn't have increased run times. It didn't make it run cooler. It didn't make it tune better. It didn't make the fuel last longer. It didn't do anything besides actually just have contamination. That was it. There, that's good enough for now, guys. Once we get everything else kind of into place, we will get that sorted out now. I have Traxxas' PDF kind of set up just so. Oh, you see, guys? We found that missing transmission. But, anyways, I'll put it in there for the next build. We got 10 of them to build. Sometimes these screw kits have way too much stuff, sometimes not enough, so we'll figure that out. Uh, Alright, so these two are the engine bolts. So we're going to put these guys in there. Alrighty guys, I'm going to check one quick thing before we get started. Flow properly or atomize properly, it's going to really mess with things. Uh, you know, and also when you do pass a methanol stream like that and you pass air through it, it cools by itself, anyways. Uh, just kind of like if you have a car that's running in a carburetor, the carburetor and it's really super cold. Yeah, so that's going to be 14 mils. Oh, I normally have a piece of measuring tape somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's not going to help. It's not going to help you. It's going to make the car faster. It's, it's just bullshit. It's, you know, I mean, people did cool or out of the air conditioned trailer or something like that. And they failed you guys. We don't actually even have. We did do something with tuning consistency if it's like 110, 120 degrees. Plastic kit. But as far as. So we might just stop it right here. Damn. Bullshit is not going to help you. It's not going to do anything besides contaminate and waste your fuel. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> no, you know what? So I asked this question many, many times before, and I thought, well, it's time to uh, time to clear the air out. There's a lot of really great channels out there, but sadly enough, there's a lot of really, really poor information that's been put up. Oh, that's where it is. It wants you spinning. Alrighty. Fuckery, that was So what we are going to do is just check one thing. Okay, the 14 mils and the 12 mils. When there's more oxygen present, you need to burn more fuel. 
So if you take fuel away in an oxygen-rich environment, it's like not adding enough fuel when you hit the nitrous button. You lean your engine out, blow it up. Same shit happens with these things. If you lean them out to try and get the temperature hotter in the winter, you're going to fry plugs and you're going you're gonna to bake your engine. That's all there's to it. Things going to be stupid lean. But in the summertime, opposite, right? There's less air, you need less fuel. Just like that. A lot of people also think, oh, put a hot plug in the There winter, we go, okay. We're going to start off this build video like this. Now, again, I haven't done this in a little while. Damn. Now, we don't want the plastic screen kit, so we're going to have to build it halfway till that point. But I will show you pretty much how we build this from frame up. It's not going to make it run colder. The plugs do not. Blow plugs don't dictate engine temperature the way people think they do. They will affect your tuning, but they will not affect engine temperature. Like how they think they will. They will only need a hot plug in the, a hot plug in the winter. Well, if you're burning extra fuel because you have to burn rich, that's a good thing because hot plugs burn more fuel. They're designed to be more efficient in a richer environment. So yeah, that is fine. But as far as switching your cold plug for summertime, stupid. Ain't gonna prove anything. Run the same plug all year round. Um, like with my engines, you know, they get the LC3 or LC4. Depending okay, on now what we're gonna need get that same plug every year, all year is a lot round. of these 14 no mils. Uh, or the short reach engines in OS8 or OS7, depending on what it calls for. And they get the same plug all year round, never change. We're still recording? Yep, yeah, we're still recording. We're doing good then. Issue. So it's um, one, yeah, two, three, seven of these bastards. Okay, so the rest of these we're just gonna scoot over. So they're not very important right now. In fact, what I am going to do... Don't waste your time with fuel coolers. Exhaust coolers. I mean, if you want them for bling, fine. Uh, just make sure they're not like a two-piece design that can to cause tuning problems. There's some more shit you have in the fuel lines. Extra fuel filters, like those little Chinese ones. They cause air leaks and all sorts of other things. Just don't that. So, unless your tanks for the dirt all the time, it's your kids. Alright, that way you don't mess me so far. Okay, so here we got the front and rear bulkheads. Now, that one goes here. This one goes to the front of the truck. This one goes to the rear of the truck. I've built so many of these, it's just it's ridiculous, you guys. So it's a little bit easier to remember. What you're gonna need now is your differentials. Now it's important that you read the directions on the differentials because if you invert them you will have to pull the whole truck apart. Haven't done it on the Evil yet, done it on the T-Max and that was just really a big piss off in other words. So, Kick off the holiday season you're going to put the diff in like this, it's all oily, gross, I'd rather it be oiled, not oiled. Alright, then you got your pin retainers, so we are going to reseat this transmission in a little bit better. We're going to take this, and we're going to slide this guy yeah, over the top. Paper. And that's where the fun begins. For you. For us, it's going to be terrifying. Yeah, this always... This is going to be a riot. Let's do this. Hey there, fellas. Sucks because it's I such a tight be fit. Conducting a lovely little experiment, there which you is go. similar to something we've already done before. I'm referring now. To what is a good idea? We need to grab the Now, to a concrete block, and drove away in an attempt to rip it out. Gonna the idea to was to find these. out whether that movie trope is actually true, where you tie down an axle and it'd get torn off. But as a matter of fact. I know these go like this, so we're just going to take this. And I put them to the bottom rung so it gives the truck anyway, just so the a little bit more snap, height. And the car would be all right. well, little tip. The mounting points were starting to a lot of people don't think about it. Unless time. you do it a lot, you don't really anyway, know. I don't know, somebody might have been bitten by a mermaid or something. 
Trying to get this side started but too, so it's kind of rolled itself together. Sort lately. Instead of tying the car to something, to make this sort of lovely item, an anchor to slow down a moving car. That would act as a sort of emergency brake, I guess. This, you guys, what I so do the is... When you lose your stack brakes, literally just grab a pair of pliers and I gently tap car. it. Now for the purpose, we have acquired this wonderful rope, which has... I'd imagine the tensile strength on this is ridiculous. There you go. Now we got that all seated up, guys. We are going to take our rear arms, which are these guys in the very back. Which to make a really strong anchor. Now if it does find grip, we might see yes, a lot I'm pretty of sure that these, yes, off. they go we did on the back the like this. Is stay in place. Nothing to be concerned these about ones here. are retained by these shorter again, pins, so you guys can go on the head of the car. put these guys in. Alright, let's make us a good old anchor. <laughs> And if the car survives, we'll try throwing it out, which might lead to something unpredictable happening. I'd imagine this would be a really heavy thing, with quite some tenacity on top of that. Right then, let's slap all of this together and do some testing. Let's do this. Fellas, big thanks for taking so many pictures with our merch. There you go. You want some that like this for yourself? So this is your whole back end together. Our latest collection of then what I like to do. Got some oh. Front ball head kind of came apart. That's what okay. we'll do some with that. Vests, stylish hats, I like t-shirts. to put it back on the Baseball truck. Caps to suit anybody's taste. Mugs, stickers, and of course. And then you're gonna grab your rear body mount posts. And what that's gonna allow you to do is secure everything. Get yourself some merch and don't forget to use the code GARAGE54, Front which back. is good for a solid discount. And then you're going to grab... We make a handbrake slash anchor for emergency braking, translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. <laughs> That's funny. I wonder hybrid's not online yet. Freaking computers just really slow, you guys. Um, let's take a look here. Rear assembly. Where is that one hole that we're looking for? We were to put that in there. Oh, four by ten. So that one's gonna be a little bit shorter. Shorter one. Then we're gonna screw this guy right down. I guess we'll check my phone. I don't want to miss it, you guys. I love Monday Night Nitro. What's up, just a freaking oh. It's on, you guys, so we'll play that in the background if you should blow all it. There you go. Break your RC goes. I love Savage. Left me hanging, so I went to all. I mean, the thing is, they're not, I mean, really, the even is, they're not really even competitors, you know, like, uh, what I'll say about the Savage is, it's a legend. It's a beast. You can't kill it. All those statements go together. You know, the Savage buyer is, is not the general Armageddon buyer. Now, is it the fastest at anything? No, it's not, okay? It, it never is, you know, but it is good at everything that you want it to do, which is run rich and loud and look awesome. All right. Kevin Scroll goes on from New Jersey, bro. I am in Staten Island. <laughs> Right, so today, Who's that guy? I actually had a Nitro Gang deal planning to <laughs> another Nitro, right? Uh, but the guy canceled. He canceled on me just okay. like my third We're going to be listening to in one time. We were going to go to Monday Night Nitro as we build one was that? a Nitro. <laughs> we were going to go to Sizzler, With the guys. Retreat. But Sizzler is dead, and so is she to me. All right. right. So, we got Max Grid in the house. How you doing, Max Grid, guys? You know, today people were expecting to see me upset. They were expecting to see me cry little baby tears. It's not gonna happen, all 
All right. It doesn't matter what people say. <laughs> they're wrong. I love it. Because love they're it, just it. naturally wrong. Okay, I can actually argue about it. We'll go to the, whatever it is we're talking about later for those of you that do not know. But the question of the day is what are we drinking? And what we're drinking today is just basic water. Okay. The we nice part is, is I'll actually be able to just so pretty, comment pretty, uh, on my low phone. level uh, coolness today. Pretty, pretty low. You know, like. Uh, what I'll say, guys, we also got a channel viewer here, Bryson365. Actually, he's doing some awesome RC experimentation. I might talk about it in a little bit. He is trying. Alrighty, to guys, we are going to continue with the build. To the classic Traxxas clutch spring problem. The problem is when you clutch right. spring on any Traxxas brake. You guys are probably noticing I don't use any clutch. drills now, on any of the much, build. But unfortunately, there's a reason for it. Sell, they strip it way too easy. Springs. And it's kind of pissing, if you ask me. Very, very pissing. What's up, Ariello 1987? We got RC Cola. He goes three speed baby. Well, this right here is a, is a two speed. Okay. So, I'm going to wait a little while. We got Steven Romano. How you doing, Steven Romano? Or see you later. Okay. Melissa goes NWO, baby. All right. Uh, Frank Slugger Jr. goes vodka and tonic. So, for me, all right. Just simple water so, today, okay? Simple water. We'll finish up the front here, guys. So we got to make sure that dinner today, you know, full of fries and cheese. So I don't deserve any nice tasting drinks right now. Can always put in that last screw later. That's what I usually do. One of the last last things. All right. So. Uh. We got almost a hundred people in the room right now. So it is about time to start talking about what we all came here for. First thing, Traxxas Slayer update. Guys, you remember like about a week and a half ago, I said the Traxxas Slayer. Um, I purchased the Traxxas Slayer, right? You remember that? I was actually expecting to unveil it today, but the problem is it's still in the mail. It's still in the mail. Okay, so the Traxxas Slayer update is it ain't here. There's no Traxxas Slayer in any of these boxes, but that's okay, because every single item... Alrighty here, guys, we pretty much got the front bulkhead kind of wrapped up. We start out with some glorious Traxxas Nitro Sport. Oh, Pro I need to drink the pounds. coffee and the Ritz. Still with some problems. So what we'll do is we'll put the top arms on. And then we're going to continue to awesome RC magazines. And then we will be looking at the... Brand new HPI Savage. Remember, holes All to right. the bottom for the extra clearance. Yep, guys. Somebody has arrived. But you know what? He was able to use my reaction last time and take it completely out of context. Basically, one of surprise. Now, it's like when you see your, you know, fifth grade bully. Are you going to be surprised? Yes. That doesn't say anything about your character. It doesn't mean anything. It's just... A reaction of surprise. What's going on, Mechanic RC and Oscar Quendo? How you guys doing? You know? So, human destruction. Actually, I checked and that video is not on YouTube anymore. So, the thing is, I still have the original files. I will re-edit it. And I will reload it. There is no way you are going to keep my awesome video down from YouTube, whoever did it. Because it is no longer in the YouTube library. I want you guys to know that in life, you're gonna come across people that no matter what the right or wrong answer is, the crowd will side with them. It's called grouping. Now, we live in a society where certain people with a certain level of status are assumed to automatically be right. This goes for most religious people, most politicians, most wealthy people. The fact is, they are able to manipulate everyone else around the actual issue. And then they uh -oh. take the issue, and they we got a little bit of an issue, guys, happen. but that's okay. In the process, not even Alrighty, so we're actually perfectly in, in, and that is hard. actually the situation I'm living right now. Okay, so we're gonna talk about it later. You know what? I'm not here to discuss it because I guarantee you this is gonna be used out of context later on, one way or another. All right, I don't want you guys to have to live a life where you have to be constantly afraid of what you're going to say because some person with influence and with that's right success will be able to use it in the future against you now that is just not the oh. right way to go you know we kind of um, messed up guys whether someone is right or wrong there's always an answer 
You cannot go around that. We forgot to put in these lady. clips that, that come in that kit, but that's okay. Anyways, we'll Alex just leave Rogers. these on he goes, loosely and then we'll do that lead. Tomorrow's Alex Rogers birthday thing. Congratulations, bro, Alex Rogers. All right. Jay Crutcher, that's right, bro. Unfortunately, the influence of the wealthy in our society is quite prevalent. All right. And I understand the youth doesn't like to think beyond what they see on the television screen or what they All play right, around in or, place. or whatever. They don't like to step outside the box when thinking, you know, what is really the issue? The problem is influence over numbers is quite great. Well, that statement is, uh, doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't really matter. So. We're going to talk about Monday Night Nitro. Whoever's here, congratulations. Oh, thank you, Kevin, Kevin Trappin right here with a big donation. Thank you, Kevin Trappin. He goes, hybrid making Nitro great again, right here and right now. That All is right, actually guys. very true. That is what we're doing. Guys, um, Savage, we'll put in a 12 mil. Oh, yeah, that will work because that little piece America holds in the top of the tower. So, okay, so I be careful when you guys are building it. We're just building it um, now. High quality standalone video. You know, I read some comments just before on that Bull Shaver video. And you know what? Let's not call anybody names. I take that back. All right? You could choose to do whatever you want. Now, the thing is, I'll never advertise Bull Shavers, but if you want to, go ahead. There will be an awesome standalone video on this Savage right here. I recorded it. You know, I took a day off from work today just to make this happen. All right? And right now, I'm a little tired. I had fatty fries for dinner, all right? All righty, and so... And fucked up the fries. <laughs> this will be an awesome video. I will be comparing it to the... I love hybrid. He's awesome. Uh, all righty, so what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to get down in freaking fine. Now, later on, maybe I'll go examine... Four of these longer cap bolts. Now, I'm not going to go over bolt hate. sizes okay. with you guys. They're hating on the Nitro game, guys. Now the thing is, these are going to be retaining your bumpers. Position, so we got the front bumper. Is true. It's truth matters. You have to ask yourself, do you care about what you believe, whether it's true or not? Now, if you don't care about what you believe, whether it's true or not, then I, I just don't understand how you could live in, in, in a state of reality. Okay. Now, just because some people have success means absolutely nothing. So, um, yeah. Tighten on the front bump. Kevin Talbot here says, Ball shaver is epic. You mad, bro. No, no, nobody's mad. We're just pointing it out. Go ahead, do whatever you want. It honestly doesn't really matter to me. So, make another video. I don't even care. You know what? The Nitro Gang is going to be here to support me and whoever else is doing this no matter what. Thank you for that donation, Jake Rudshaw. Nitro Gang for life. By the way, guys, let me just discuss the main issue. The main issue. So, the video... Okay, Kevin Trapp and Ghost Hybrid, what's in the box? You know what? Let's 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 avoid uh, situations here today. Let's avoid uh, all of this garbage, right? I'm going to do what people have asked me to do. Now, the thing is, I'm not going to lay down and accept it, all right? When you're right, you are right. Don't let people tell you that you are not right. You are not in fifth grade anymore, all right? So, oh, sometimes you like the hand work so over here. Will cost you. Sometimes you got to suffer a little bit. But at the end of the day, that's the reality. You got to be true to yourself. I'm trying to build this as quickly as possible, you guys. Right. Like... So, we're going to, we have to answer Kevin Trapp in here. He asked me, what's in this box? Kevin Trapp, you want to know what's in this box? So, Traxxas Nitro Sport first, right? I got this a while ago. So, the question from Bubbles or Sea Shed is, can you smell out what the Nitro Gang is cooking? And actually, yes, I can smell it quite well. It smells like lies from person in the stream. Oh, AJ Fresh, thank you for that. Donation. Alrighty. Keep the donation la, 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 can you smell? La, 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 la. That's right, bro. Nitro so, game is cooking. Alright. Take a good look. Alrighty, now, Mofo. This so, this is Bill, Bill, going to be your clutch donation. setup. Bro, or your, you what am I saying? Right. Your spur gear setup. So, thank right. God these right. already stayed right. on right. there. The first what you guys going to need to do is there's two washers. It's going to be quite interesting. 
So let me get and this a little now. pin. So you guys are gonna take this little pin, line it up. And guys, don't you worry. Put it on don't the transmission. With the donation, thank you for that. Bro. Line John. that up half and half. That channel, then, bro. You're gonna have two half washers. Make right. sure that they're going the opposite way on each other, and so you know it kind what, of guys? forms I'm not even a plan. Waste, uh, time making a rebuttal video to Tyler because honestly, I could, I could easily just record his, oh. you know, not record it, but watch it and do like live commentary. If you guys want to see me do it, I'll do it. It really doesn't matter. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. At the end of the day, the Nitro projects never actually end. I want you to understand Bang. that. I'm trying to make deals as much as possible. And this Savage here is actually one of the newer ones that I've had like in a long time that I've unboxed myself. Now I want everybody to know that the Kyosho USA one All giveaway right. is coming giggity, up giggity. before the end of the month. And I also oh, want you to know a that guys. earlier today, but I recommend just take your screwdriver. With the Kyoto USA one giveaway, Stick I'm going to count the videos and all oh, the best things to somehow disappear. Now he told me, maybe I'm using some kind of bad words. The thing is, Kyoto USA Even one. Even a go plug ratio work just for now. Just to get this tight guy. enough where it doesn't want to back off. Zero bad off words. the pin on the back end. All right. And also, some people seem to think, oh man, this is good publicity for you. No, I don't look at it that way. I don't want anybody to think that I'm doing some kind of stunts for publicity. Do I look like I'm doing stunts for publicity? There you go, guys. This is guys. my personality right over here, okay? I love Nitro. There's no stunts. I'm not hey, trying to pick fights with people back, for... Look at you guys. Oh, uh, This is, is not set entirely right. Some kind of level of whatever. Yeah, it's a We're little too tight. It. All but... I did was point out a simple... There. Fact. It's a little bit better. That was not a wall. That was All right, so that's pretty much it for the train. You understand? Like sometimes you have a debate, and like. Wow, well, what we're gonna do having, is the dual the opposition is so, theory so link. Out of order that really you have nothing to say. You really have nothing to say. Other than I challenge you to a push-up contest while you're not oh, yeah. the recycling. Okay. Again, you that's guys, we're not gonna be able to do entirely because. Yeah. The plastic kit actually comes with up, guys. This, is this whole front part um, of RC literature. What we're okay. probably going to end up doing just now, for now is there's a few things we can do out the actual kit. This is the kind of stuff you're never going to see anywhere. So, two Steve Baby goes with Cannon Cars. So, we can put. John Sue, that's why I told you. Alright. We got Mike Knees. Yeah, channel member for two months. Thank you, bro. All right. The first magazine. I'm going to take him out of the box. All right, guys. So this is. Let me see what year this is. Uh, this is this one. Side. 1998. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Don't be like me, guys. I'm um, trying to do that backwards. So Kevin Talbot here goes. Where was the stick and where was the Nurburgring? Nurburgring, the racetrack in Germany. So that is the video that he has an issue with me being a clickbaiter. So the thing is, there's something called artistic license, bro. You do not understand artistic license. Not everything has to be exactly 100% true, but it cannot be a lie. Okay, I did go to a, an oval strip and the thing is, there is no stick. You understand, you're, you're picking one video out of like 700. It's not really even relevant. If this was presented in a court, you'd be laughed out of court because your analogies are not even relevant. Okay? You think that somebody being jealous is 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 an answer. And the problem okay. is your childlike audience agrees with you, okay? And I'll never beat it. I understand. I will never beat that position, right? But I will never give up my position as well. I want you guys to understand. Alright? So yeah. I hate using these wrenches, right. you guys. They always so guys, off. right here, once again, Talbot is calling me a clickbaiter. I want you guys in the stream right now to, to find some clickbait video. The thing is, my thumbnail is from the video, okay? It's from the video. It doesn't meet the definition of clickbait. Like, I don't understand what you can't understand, bro. Okay, I just don't understand. I see we got a lot of uh, Talbot supporters here in the stream, all right? It doesn't really even matter. Stay here or don't stay here. The Epic Nitro Game core audience is going to be here. Anyways, if you guys want me to let this all go, I can do it. You tell me right now, okay? I can let it go. 
we could all move on. But at the end of the day, there is still a right and a wrong, no matter what. All right. So, um, you know, as as society, you could sit I don't know. on the side. If you guys want to know my opinion, I just crowd. I don't know. I don't want to get the involved issue with is the still chat. The issue. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be confronted with situations like this. It's gonna happen. And there'll be nothing you can do because the person with the most influence will always win. And that is a metaphor for life, guys, all right? Including our politicians, including celebrities. They can hold whatever dumbass positions they want and people will not question them. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I'm not even going to read this, this statement from him. It's, it's, it's mostly trash. So um, we're going to go look at this now, guys, all right? I'm going to take out a couple of these magazines. Bro, oh, Oscar Aquendo, bro, how you doing? Kevin Trapp and keep saying what's in the box. Well, bro, let me give you a little preview and then we'll come back. You want to see a little flip of the box, Kevin Trappin? Is that what you want to do? We can do it. We can do it. All right. I'm going to show you, but we're not to that part yet where we're going to look at the Savage. There's other stuff I have planned. All right. Now, some people, all right, what do you think about that, my guy? Ah, what do you think about that, everybody? Oh, it's trying to hurt me. Oh, it's cutting me over here. We got ourselves a freaking savage. 4.6, the brand new one. It's truly, truly sickening. All right, my guys? So yes, 45 miles per hour, they're all 45 miles per hour. That is like the standard speed for a nitro monster. Oh, I hate this, speed you guys. Speed-wise, pretty much any nitro, you're gonna be 45 miles there. per hour. There. Now, I will be able now, to this up in a little bit, but for now, we are gonna we put this on. some unfinished nitro business to do, all right? Anyways. Something just don't look right, you guys. I'm trying to figure out what it is. In this box. Oh, we got Kevin Scroth, a new channel member. Welcome to the next fan status, bro. Jesus. You're supporting the truth and the Nitro game by making that decision and become a channel member. Thank you. Okay, I want you to understand. Whenever I come across untruthful information or a lie or a clickbaiter, I will call them out. And guys, that is your job as a member of society. Think back to your history classes, to World War II. All right. You had a no whole folks. bunch of people in Germany. Now I like the backs right. because they left these in. Were they so it's actually easier right? for me to actually just work Just because with their this. leader said they were? Just because masses of millions of people thought they were right in extreme genocide of many different types of people? Were they right? Do you understand what I'm saying? You're going to encounter these kind of situations and... You have to stand up and say, listen, nah. I have to make this, make us a stand. All right? So, um, yeah. This is the time consuming so, part. Yeah, thank you for that, Dion, for the best YouTube channel, bro. Thank you. Listen, Kevin Talbot, I don't have to acknowledge your lies anymore, okay? I just don't have to do it. Today in the video, you said that was actually 55 miles per hour in your max. It was nowhere close to that. What do you think, I'm a moron? Do you know how fast even 45 looks like in real life? Like, that was nowhere close to even 40, okay? It was nowhere close. So, let's continue. But that is my basis for my argument. It's purely based on speed, and the facts of the thumbnail are altered and not unique. That is my claim. Now, you answer my claim with calling me jealous. I mean, dude, are you like in third grade? Like, for real? Like, and then you, you donate some money to me and then you record my reaction? Bro, that's sickening. And honestly, if my fourth grade bully came over to my house right now, I would have the same reaction. I would be like, wow. You, you understand? Like, you're taking things out of context. You can't do that. If you want to have a live discussion with me, I am all for it. I have been challenging you for a very long time. So far, you have said no to all of my challenges why don't you go on a live stream and then do a conversation with me have a conversation with me rather i'll bring my facts and you bring your so-called facts 
and we will throw down facts together. And maybe, just maybe, at the end of the day, we will become friends. But I highly doubt it. But maybe that will happen. There's always a chance in hell. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right. No, dude, there's no video of you doing 55 miles an hour. You made that up. I'm not going to accept that. That is not evidence. People have been using claims like you for, for, for millenniums now, including all religious claims. Just because something is accepted by you or someone else doesn't make it true. It just doesn't, okay? So, we got some of my uh, Texas Hill County Custom Homes is here. How you doing, bro? Yes. No, no, no. There is no, no. Anyway. I'm going to take the phone now, guys. Do you want to have a close-up view of some pretty sickening collectible RC magazines? I guarantee you, this is the kind of stuff you won't see ever, ever again. Because there's not many of these left in print, and this is truly sickening, sickening information. All right, Kevin Talbot, how about this? How about I will recommend that we all cool it, okay? How, how about that? I won't mention you, you won't mention me. How about this? Listen, bro, you see this phone right here? This is usually Kevin Trappen's phone. And this right here is Manuel Maldonado's or RC Crazy Mike's phone. How about this? You don't call me, and I won't call you. What do you think about that, my guy? Yeah. Don't call me, I won't call you. That's good, all right? Sickening. All right. <laughs> Kevin Trappin here with the most awesome uh, <laughs> comments here. <laughs> Don't call me, I won't call you. All right. Don't do uh, response videos to me, I won't make them to you. Now, some people think to see that there is some kind of benefit to the Nitro Gang as a group because this is good exposure. That exposure is not good publicity. Okay. And listen, publicity is not what I am after. That is not even me, okay? Let's continue. Oh, thank you for that, Kevin Scroth. He goes, the drama needs to stop both of you guys. It's kind of hurting the hobby. Well, listen, my dude. I suggested just dropping it. I told him, don't call me. I won't call you on my vintage uh, flip phone, okay? I won't call you, bro. This is Kevin Trappen's uh, private phone line, okay? Motorola. It's his, it's his phone line. So I won't call him. Thank you for that donation, Kevin Scroth. So, we're going to take a look at all of these magazines now and... Alrighty, um, we just got one more. I'm going to try to do one thing that I kind of learned, sometimes but sometimes it comes plea back deal. to bite me. Now, the plea deal might mean you didn't do it. Maybe it means you did it. But for the benefit of everybody here, I guess people want to see us get along. I will forfeit my claim and I will forego claiming that that was not a wall and that was not 50 miles per hour. What do you think about that? <laughs> These guys are just going yeah, out today. The thing is that people like him always get the last word. We're not going to even continue this. He always gets the last word. He'll maintain that he was being nice to me and it's all my fault. If that's what you want to maintain, as long as you don't call me, I won't call you. Let's, let's continue this, all right? If you want to go get Chinese food with me one time, there. or whatever you like to eat, I'll hang out with you, bro, okay? I will forfeit everything I would ever said. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's damn true. But at the end of the day, the Nitro Gang is here. What's going on, Badger? Now, don't thumb down anything. Listen, uh, don't, you know, I don't recommend any kind of hostility towards anybody. Um, pain in the Bass with a $2 donation. Dude, Pain in the Bass, that's an awesome username. That is a cool one. He goes, can I use 70 millimeter hub? on the Savage 21. Um, it is not a standard thing. I, I have not seen people convert older Savages to 17 mm. That's what I would just see. see. Just squash but I'll be it. With you, the drive train on the Anyways, we're not going to get into that conversation. About, you know, you're talking 2002 stuff here. Um, if you have... If oh, guys, we just lost it. There we go. Setup, you could try doing it, but I don't think you're really going to get anywhere, to be honest. You just run the standard hubs, and it, it'll just be fine. Okay? It'll just be fine. So, we will continue. Are we still are waiting yes, for video hubs, please. I don't recommend hubs, anybody thumbs down anybody's videos, even Kevin Talbot. Trust me, don't do it. It's pointless. 
You're not going to win arguments or fights that way. And you might feel a little bit better in the short run, but don't do it. Listen, I don't encourage any of that because that person could turn around and screw you later. Trust me, I've had it happen several times. So, let's continue. We're, we will maintain the don't call me, don't call, I won't call you situation here. All right? Something just looks that. messed up, you All guys, right. with the front. Yeah. We got no beef. The thing is, when people say they have no beef, but then they provoke you with certain beefs, do they really have a beef is what I'm saying. Now, I generally like to eat some kind of chicken, not even beef. So I have no beef for sure. You understand what I'm saying? All right. Anyways. Yeah, I think I got this all mixed RC up. RC Magazine Time says Kevin Trappin. So, bro, we're going to do it. I'm going to give you a live first person view of these awesome vintage magazines. Guys, I guarantee you. This is the kind of stuff you've probably never seen before. So the cover, this is the Traxxas Nitro Sport, the one I just showed you just now, all right? It's the first time Traxxas Nitro Sport won with one touch electric start. So I'll this figure is it out here, the guys. first electric start system, I think, in a Traxxas. Once I have the other parts, right? it'll be easier. Pretty sickening. Everything kind of lines up, ESCs, which should. No lock right here, or pretty much top dog. Pretty sure. Home built monster masterpiece. Yeah. Pretty sure this is Pretty the way. Ball diffs over here. We need the all other right. plastic set so that we can put the rest of this together. Here. We're gonna go now. through all of these magazines. Kevin Trappin and everybody here. There's a sickening amount of them. I don't even know what they are. I haven't looked at it. The next one up. Team Associated B3 World Champions. Uh, some other stuff. We got brushed motors over here. Some tests. The next one up. Oh man, what year is this? Oh, this is 1998. Quite sickening. Hmm. Quite sickening. We got an Ultima Z10. We know that we have two. Cover, we have a Kyosho Landmax. Uh, at this time, Rally was very, very popular. And if you notice, here it says, first look, all-terrain HPI RS4 MT. This is there, the first one time one. the RS4 MT was, well, the name was used. After that, they basically just called it the, the Nitro MT. Or, or the RS4, well, they dropped the RS4 name completely. So, the vintage Nitro classicness going on over here. There. We got the next one. Inside Racing's Top I Contenders. We got the uh, Losi XXT. I'll have to show you guys in another video with the Servos, other ones. But anyways, race champs. what else can we do the here? What we got. And the Schumacher SS. Definitely we can put these guys on for now. All right, next one. We got... Get into the big blocks, Kyosho, DX2 Off-Road Inferno. Yeah, so the Inferno nameplate has been out for a very long time. We got the Tamiya TGX and the Kyosho Super 10. Um. Quite sickening, quite sickening. You know what, maybe you guys want to see me flip like randomly through maybe one or two of these. I could do it probably for you. So let's see, just randomly. Okay, well, back then a lot of these were black and white. Oh man, what the hell is this? This is a Yankee. I've actually seen these models. These are super uh, expensive giant scale uh, gas RCs, Yankee. Right over here. All right. Super sickening rally says Sean Q. Guys, check this out. It's an F1 gas car, right? Super sickening. Inboard shocks, wow. The price, 18.95. One quarter scale. Blowing. Man, one quarter scale. This was pretty yeah. sickening back then. I remember one quarter scales were uh, quite popular back then. There Man, this is vintage RC greatness over here, guys. All right, so we're going to just keep going. The 14 performance, 14 car performance packed issue. So on the cover, you know what? Let's look at it on the side. Definitely not the right yeah, size, guys. Let's look at it on the, the right here. one. Okay. We got a whole bunch of RCs over here. What does it say? Kyosho Escort HPI Nitro RS4 Racer. Sickening. Okay, so we're going to flip it uh, just randomly. Wow, the first thing I flip to is a TAO2 gas conversion kit. So this is a ready to roar nitro powered 110 scale sedan. So basically, you have the entire nitro conversion kit. You know how today people do electric conversions? Well, back then, they took an electric and made it an actual nitro. Has to be like this. So let's continue. Um, some, some electric stuff here, more electric stuff. 
Oh man, look at this. They have an ad of an old CRT monitor. This is quite sickening. I remember using these in school. Yeah. Right. That's what happens when you don't build these for a very, so, very, very long got time. Next it's one been over here. two months since nitro I built one. Nitro or electric, which is best? Now, of course, for the nitro game, the answer is nitro. But in real life, there is no best. I want you guys to know that. You know, sometimes it might seem like I'm only promoting nitro, but you got to understand. Every channel has its specialty. And of course, I will always claim that on this channel, it's, of course, 100% nitro, right? But... Some people like electric, and um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I have electrics as well. We totally messed but up the framing, guys. I'm not going to worry about it again. I got to take Let's this all apart. Page but flip. Okay, well, these are know if these were inverted because they get pushed into the stuff. shock stoppers. We got what's this? Some kind of uh, Yokomo Yokomo buggy associated nitro dual sport. I saw somebody in the nitro game Facebook group got this recently. It's pretty sickening. Basically, an RC. We might just stop it here, you guys, because into like they call it a dual sport. You know, back during this we time have period, to mount the rest of this property with the rest of plastics. But that's how you're gonna get this frame pretty much up to this point. We can kind of continue to do the so other ones. The main um, issue right I might just pause this video here, wait till we get the rest of the it. That way, you guys want a better idea. Because I gotta pull half this stuff best. apart. We'll get the shocks. Let's see what they say. I'm actually. Can just look at that other one that I got built. But yeah, we'll leave this here. We got um, two old school RCs. Start putting some the of this RC stuff 10, back. Right, this is the RC10. Yeah, we're going to cut it off here. Uh, yeah, GT, RC10. I'm going to leave it a bit. So, RC10 GT, the older style chassis. I'm just going to put all these screws, like the chassis, fun the stuff the back in And here. there's electric. So, I don't know if they're going to actually say which is better or not here. But, okay, so they're going through advantages and disadvantages. So, let's see, cost. Who's the winner? The advantage is nitro. Okay, so this magazine thinks cost nitro is the winner. That's quite sickening. Quite sickening. Now, ease of assembly, the advantage is electric. All right, well, that's as expected. Tuning and maintenance, uh, advantage once again electric, as expected. Uh, the next one, advantage goes to runtime, goes to nitro big time. You guys see that nitro big time, it says. Performance. They don't want to see you win. Goes to nitro. All right, you guys, we're going to end this nitro here. Baby. We're just going to package I, all this I fun stuff this into one bag, right? Nitro that way we don't miss uh, clean stuff. Yeah. You got to sell the Nitro game winner right here, guys. Winner for sure. Before sure. All right, next one. Four-wheel drive buggy battle. Ticket. Now, this is October 19th. I'm probably going to pop everything. Okay. Just into uh, one of these square yeah. things here. Let's continue here. What else we got over here? Uh, Schumacher Cat Yokomo MX4. Does anybody? But anyways, know what guys, thanks for tuning in. We're what gonna finish this up in, in a few more so days, I guess. What does uh, we'll get back to it. Stand for now. In my previous Schumacher videos, I learned all about it. HPI.